Now the videos I normally produce are me beach combing and I have self collected a whole bunch of shells and purposefully because I wanted to make a white picture frame with white shells on it. So I've been putting all my white shells to the side so that I can glue it onto this frame. And that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna decorate this frame and make it look like something beautiful like this. So let's get to it. we are gonna put some seashells on a photo frame. I've seen this done before. I just think it looks so really pretty. I bought this at a thrift store and I purposefully chose a frame that was gonna be a little bit wider so I can put the seashells on it. And I really kinda of wanna concentrate with a big lump in a corner and just have a little bit here and there. Before I do anything though, I am gonna clean that with one of those magic scrubbers, there's a little bit of stuff on there that I'd like to get clean. And then for equipment or the things I'll be using, I am gonna use the clear E6000 glue. These are all self-collected seashells. I've been putting the white ones to the side or shells that are very faded, specifically to put on the white frame because I hope hoping that's gonna look real pretty. And then on the, at the end, I'm gonna embellish it with some craft pearls that we bought. So first I'm gonna clean the frame and then we'll get to start positioning some of those seashells. So this is my attempt at a planning phase. I kind of lay the shells out and see if I kind of like the way that they're gonna look and I decided I didn't like those. So I'm gonna reposition them again. Once I'm kind of happy, then I'm gonna kind of stop. We'll go back, we'll take a look at what we've got and then I'll start gluing. So I have most of the shells, the bigger ones that are, are in position at this point and it's funny because this is a banded tulip and it's just completely discolored. And so what I've been doing is just kind of holding on to shells for something such as this. So these shells are either naturally white or they're bleached out white and I wanted them specifically to go on this fancy white frame. So now I'm gonna start gluing and we'll see what that looks like. And then we'll come back and probably again, layer in some of the smaller shells and then eventually those pearls. But I'm gonna to get to gluing. Okay, so I have the bigger shells or most of the stuff is glued down. So I'm gonna just let that harden, get nice and dry. And then I'm gonna go back and layer smaller shells in all the little crevices. I love the way that the layering shell works. And then finally we'll put those pearls, those craft pearls on. So it's coming along nicely. Next step, we're gonna layer it with smaller shells. All right, progress coming along quite nicely. I've decided to add a little sand dollar up in the corner. So at this point, I'm really just gonna let everything dry. There are some like little bit of shiny, um, like reflections of the glue on the frame, which I don't love, but I'm gonna cover that with the pearls. So I'm gonna let everything really just kind of dry. I'm gonna go back and put those pearls on and then we will take a final look at how this seashell frame is coming out. Now, I wanted to mention, I keep talking about letting the things dry. The glue is repositionable, kind of like rubber cement. So once you glue your shell down, it, there is a little bit of wiggle room. So that's why I'm waiting in between. So I'm not accidentally repositioning something that I want to stay. So at this point, this is what I've done. I've done the bigger shells, the smaller shells. I've got the pearls on here. And now I'm just gonna kind of leave it alone for a while and let everything set and we're almost done with this seashell frame. And here we go. This is what it turned out like. I think it came out okay. It is my first attempt at creating a seashell frame. I have done a mirror. I will put a little link up in the description below so I can show you what that mirror came out like, but pretty happy with this white seashell frame. I love the pearls, giving it just a little bit of bling. And I really like the contrast of all the textures of the shells, the smoothness of the pearls. I just, I just like the way that all of the different elements kind of blend together. 
So I think it came out a-okay. And now the very last thing I would like to mention is that I was also cognizant that you're not always going to have pictures vertically. So that is why I positioned the sand dollar kind of pointing toward the center of the frame and the same with that big seashell on the bottom right, kind of pointed them to the center of the frame. So if you did want to turn it and use it horizontally, it wouldn't look kind of weird. So I was thinking ahead at least in that point, but I am done with my frame. I put a nice little picture of a heron with some puffy white summer clouds in the background and I am done with my white picture frame. So hopefully this helps you. Maybe you're gonna go on vacation and hey, maybe if you find some of those shells that aren't quite perfect, you can find a little something to do with them. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the beach. And Patreons, I would never forget about you. Never, never, never. So thank you so much for supporting me as you always do. Everybody else, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of thing, you like the beach, you like finding shells, I do recommend you subscribe to my SWF Beach Life Beachcombing channel. I go out every single week and I share a video with you every Sunday. So if you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.